I guess my lag is pretty bad because I broke the scaffolding and look, one of them is still hovering in midair. I was just about to change designs, but guess what? <laughs> guess what? It's working! It's finally working! I waited here for uh, maybe five Minecraft days and I was worried that it wasn't going to work. It's because for some reason this guy was standing closer to this side of the block. So he wasn't close enough to get crops thrown to him. But now he should be fine. I don't know why he was so fixated on the far side of this block. Uh, I have no idea. But I'm going to make another floor. This time of potatoes. Hopefully that one will work fine. And we've got second floor potatoes. Another change that you might have noticed is that I switched the glass panes into glass blocks. The glass panes look nice and give depth, but I think it was breaking the farm a little bit. Especially back here, I had glass panes instead of glass. And when I hit the when I hit the minecart, it kind of pushed the villager off of the block that I want him to be on. And when he's not close enough to that side, when he's not close enough to the side with the farmer, then the farm breaks. So I'm going to show you how I went through the process of aligning him. If it, unless we're lucky and he goes in the right place the first try. So you have to, you have to. Uh, Break the minecart, don't hit him. Oh, and we're lucky, see he went he went in the right place. But anyway, that's that's just luck. If he doesn't go in the right place, what you wanna do is you wanna put some water in. And it's gonna push him that way. And then see it works. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. As you can see, I made some progress on that farm behind me. Let's go and check it out. One floor, two floors, you can hear it working, three floors, four floors. Yes, we have four floors done. I know I promised that there would be maybe like six, seven or eight floors, but I was thinking the building was getting a little too tall. So if I need more floors, I'll put them underground. Also, I ran out of iron. I was maybe a little over overzealous making this whole building out of iron. So at some point, we're going to need to make that farm over there better. Look at this. Carrots and potatoes. So we take the carrots and potatoes. Let me just ignore the fact that I took, I took like seven hearts of damage. Walk over here. I also traded with these guys a bit more. I lowered their prices again with the help of Mr. Zombie. I guess while I'm waiting for more iron to finish the, the roof, we'll start on the better snow farm. Is this you? Oh boy, I sure wish there was a faster way to get large amounts of snow. Well then look no further, because today we will be designing a better snow farm. It is a well-known fact that you can mine five blocks in a row from where you're standing in Minecraft. 
if I go here, one, two, three, four, five. But if we apply a little bit of geometry, Minecraft block is one by one. You enter the block halfway and mine at a 45 degree angle. We do a little bit of geometry. Maybe you don't like math. So these are each 0.5. Let's do 0.25 plus 0.25. Um, it's about 0.71. So the maximum distance you can go is 5. It's about equal to 7 blocks. Well, that's cool and all seeing it written down, but let's try it out for ourselves. Switch game modes. If we just go head on, one, two, three, four, five. But we want to get that 45 degree, entering the block halfway and going at a 45 degree angle. So if we look at when we push up against this block, we get to about 0.3 in the x direction. See that? 0.3 is about as far as we can go. We can get to 0.7 going forward. If we put down a trapdoor, then we get that. We get really close to 0.5 on the x. And now we look at about a 40 degree angle. Make it as straight as possible. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Cool, right? Using that idea, we can make this this kind of cool diagonal stone farm. So I just do what I was saying, push up against here, look at about a 40 degree angle, and we can break the stone so easily. You get seven in a row. Of course, there are better stone farms that can do 10 because you go straight on and you get pushed back and forth by pistons. It's basically the same idea. But I guess if you wanted to just have a diagonal stone farm or just not be pushed around by pistons for some reason, then you could use this. I think it's pretty cool because I came up with it. So it's, it's more efficient than going straight in the line, but it's also less efficient than being pushed side to side. Because this is only seven, but that's ten. Also, to do to get maximum efficiency out of this, you need a efficiency five pickaxe and a haste two beacon. Which is by the time you're building gigantic structures, hopefully you have the infrastructure for that. I really don't know how useful this is. The only other application I can think of right now is to be in maybe an ice farm or something. You just go, just like a normal ice farm, like a gigantic one, where you wind back and forth through these paths. If you just drop into the ice, the water stream at a 45 degree-ish angle, then you can break seven blocks in a line instead of the usual five as you go down the water stream. You go back and forth, breaking seven. Besides that, I can't really think, I can't really think of anything that it'd be better at than just being in a straight line and being pushed back and forth because there are a lot of things in the game that that like re re replenish quickly quicker than necess than that's necessary stones one that takes a little bit of time so that's why it's useful there i guess also if the farm requires more sides like you need to operate on more than two sides you need more sides to operate on I, I really don't know i just thought it was cool 
and I made it myself, so... How does this even relate to snow farms? Another disclaimer is that this farm might not improve your, your rates at all if you're running on a good enough server. Because here I am in a single player world. I'm in survival mode. When I break the snow, replenishes almost instantly. So I put a fourth snow right over here on the side. If I break these three, you'll see that no matter how long I hit these blocks here, this one never gets broken. So if you have a good enough server, three, three in a line like this is three in a tr in a three in a corner like this is good enough, I'd say. But if we go over, if we go over to my server right now, the snowman's replenishing these three blocks. This block is not replenishing. All these blocks back here aren't replenishing. So if I hit them, if I hit them, you see that it does end up breaking this block back here. But I'm thinking that I can't break more than six blocks before they replenish. So that's why I have six blocks of snow here. Two snowmen creating six blocks. If I stand here, I can break all of them. But right now, there's no, there's no way that these ones are getting, these snowballs are getting picked up back there. So we're gonna work on that next. You can use this just hopper minecarts on top of hoppers to collect the snowballs. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So take this, this hopper minecart. What we're gonna do. Is first we're gonna make it so it doesn't go away, it doesn't run away. Put slabs over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a block. We're gonna put a hopper minecart in a block. First we do that. Then we put a piston above it and the block of your choice. For this farm, you want your block to be something that doesn't break with a shovel easily. Then you're gonna wanna go down here. These slabs are here so it's easy for you to break the rail. Then power your piston. And ta-da! Now we have a hopper minecart. Picks up block, it <laughs> picks up items in that block above. The good thing about that is that it's pretty fast. So if you use it for a cobblestone farm or a stone farm, it'll pick up the blocks before they get stuck in the lava. Let me sleep. This is future lane talking. Looks like the farm needs to be built north to south, or else the minecarts will turn. I did a bit of setting up. I put down six hoppers that are going to be underneath the six hopper minecarts, which are going to be underneath the two snowmen. I put barrows underneath them and crafting tables on the ground. So the idea is that I'm going to come through, just break the barrows, all the snowballs are going to come out, and I'm just going to craft them in these blocks. Then you put the barrows back, and you just repeat the process. The hard part here is getting the rails down correctly. You're gonna need to extend the rail further so this one doesn't line up with the that one doesn't turn. Then this one needs to go further. Now it's okay if these connect because they're because this one's already done and straight. Put that back. And then now you're done. Now don't touch the rails. What you need to do is put slabs here and here. Choose a block that you want because you don't really want to touch these slabs after this part of the process because you might accidentally push the minecarts. So after you've got your rails placed down and your slabs placed down, put these little holes in the side so it's easy for you to come in and break the 
fails later, and then you're gonna put in your hopper minecarts. Now after this part, you don't want to touch them. Break the rails. Uh, that's not what's supposed to happen, but be careful not to <laughs> break the actual hopper minecart. Just be very careful, don't touch them. And now we're ready for the final part. Just very carefully, without touching any of the hopper minecarts, push them all in from above with pistons. Like that. Just do all of them. And you might want to fill in the blocks around the edges as you go along, just to be safe. Did you do it? So now you can go through and check. It should look something like this. Going north to south. You should be able to go through six of them. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. These are here to prevent the minecart from sliding as you're pushing them in. And these blocks are all around the edges to make sure you don't accidentally push the minecarts after you're done. To make sure that everything works, you can just throw some blocks. You throw some blocks and you'll see that they as soon as they reach into that space of the block above, they get picked up. And you can go down. Break the barrels. You see that the logs all come out. Sorry if I'm not doing the best job at explaining this. I can do a better tutorial if there's any need, if anybody actually cares about it. See this one here, if we turn on hitboxes, you'll see that it's not actually hitting. So I can slide up against here. And now you put a trapdoor here. That's not a trapdoor, sorry. See the, the hitbox, you see that white line is like right up against, it's in the same spot so you can't hit it. Take your trapdoor, flip it up. Now this is the spot where you're going to be mining, you're going to be taking the snow from. You're going to want to put five snow, five snow layers here. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to want to put five snow layers on the block. Ooh, maybe. Yes. One, two, three, four. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. You know, I never actually built this whole farm before. I kind of just put together in my mind. Does this one still pick up items? It does. Okay. So this will be this side's the way down. This side's the mining side. And now we just have to move our snowmen in. Our snowmen are gonna stand here and here. We can put a iron bar there. Make a little box. And the rest should be pretty straightforward, so I'm gonna cut. Let's just see if it works. So you stand on this block here. And you mine the snow. You can kind of figure it out. You can kind of find the sweet spot by just hitting it. Then we have to be a little bit more than 45 because we're going in the opposite direction now, so... You just, you <laughs> kind of just listen to it and it'll, it'll sound like you're hitting more blocks. That sounds about right. Anyway, we go down and see. This is a good way to check. Or if you look up top, you'll see that there are no snowball. There's only two snowballs in my inventory, no snowballs around. That means that the hopper minecarts are working correctly. We just go through here and we break. Back here, no snowballs. Over here, no snowballs. Some snowballs there. A lot of snowballs over here. And then now we just craft them into snow blocks.
And this is how exactly how I wanted the farm to work. I guess these back two ones are unnecessary. Probably won't ever check them, but it is just to complete the farm look. Let's turn off hitboxes. That's enough rambling for one day. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And let me know if you want to if you actually use this design or something. Or if this diagonal idea is actually used for anything. It's pretty useful for the snowman because you can't do this straight on because the snowman itself is in the way. So that's why you need to go diagonally. But then again, this isn't useful in any server that's running at a, on good internet because you'll be able to break the three blocks and they're replenished before you can ever break the fourth one. But as you can see here that Sometimes you do break this fourth block here, so it's helpful to have it going to a second snowman. I don't think I'll ever actually hit these blocks back here, but it's it's nice to have the opportunity to. Okay, goodbye.